Happily single, huh? Happily single. Just look at the headline. Woman blasts her friend for allegedly repeatedly faking her pregnancies. So we still got, that's another thing that I probably haven't covered too much yet on this channel, really. Um, when we talk about women faking their pregnancies and or like they'll fake a pregnancy test or they'll call the man that they're messing with tell them that they're pregnant just to see the reaction like do they you know that i haven't gone thoroughly in that but this is still very common practice to uh today and this is why you guys have to be careful because there are certain things that women do where they can initiate a positive pregnancy uh result so you you have to be you have to be careful out there today so here you have a girl who's tired of her friend being a scam artist she's going to show you what her friend be doing out here scamming ninjas <laughs> so she says y'all why my friend faking her pregnancy for the second time the second time she goes on to say like this really some sick ass ish and i was happy for her yeah but i'm tired of shopping and it's no mf and baby it's gonna be a lot especially in the future it's gonna be a lot of women doing this so you guys be <laughs> this this happens a lot where basically they'll trap you in terms of they'll say you'll you'll be messing with her you don't know if you're really serious about her or not then she'll say she's pregnant but she's really not but then you end up staying with her and it actually knocking her up like this this stuff is very common guys so you guys got to really make sure you're getting a second opinion making sure and also when it comes to paternity testing you do know Somebody put me on game recently. He said that you can get like a paternity test, I think like eight weeks in, something like that, five weeks in or something, something crazy like that. I'm like, oh, you could get that before it comes out. I had no idea. I didn't know you could do that. Hold up. Let me let me do the research real quick for you guys. Let me do the So here it says DNA testing can be done as early as the end of the first trimester of pregnancy, starting any time after the eighth week with the SNP microarray procedure or during the 10th week th through the CVS uh, procedure. So basically anywhere between the 8th and 10th week, you can get a early paternity test. I didn't know this. So this is this is good information. This is good information uh, to, to make sure to, to, to get rid of the BS. This is good. This is good that I know this. And I hope you guys uh, take note. Anyways, let's go back to the mess here. She's going to show the text messages. So, obviously, the woman faking her pregnancy again is the one in white, and the one texting is the girl in uh, the one exposing her is the girl in blue. So you see the text messages from the scam artist. Wait, what you mean you wanted it to be true, girl? The first ultrasound is mine. You think I'm gonna have a whole gender reveal and all, and not be pregnant, child? My baby daddy be at every doctor's appointment with me, and look how she's she's laughing. Like these, like I'm talking about, these scam artists are scary. I'm I, like I said, you might. I think in the future, you guys are gonna have to. I'm talking about avoid even talking to straggles. Just I'm talking about by any means necessary because I I came to that conclusion, um, uh, last year when that uh the sex tape came out with the um the Jovi Pena Kai Senat situation with his friend. And where basically the sex tape basically vindicated Kai Kai's friend, and you still had a group of girls, feminazis, but it was a it was a group of black feminists, right? And they were still trying to say that don't mean nothing. She still could have gotten taken. I'm like the the video. It's the videotape is right there. After that, I gave up. I was like, there's wow. I I I really had no idea what I was dealing. With. And especially when you talk about the straggles on Clubhouse <laughs> when they beat. I was like, there's no, like, these people are terrible. Anyway, let's continue reading. She goes again. I just got the second one off there when you said you needed a better picture. That was stupid, though. Now, the girl with some kind of head on her shoulders is saying, I hope not, LMAO, because I know people don't take faking a pregnancy lightly. I'm going to return my gift. She says, girl, you down bad. <laughs> because... Like I said, you could only if you have some kind of head on your shoulders, you'll there will be there will be some women that will be like, OK, look, you're taking this too far. You're taking this too far. <laughs> Somebody gave me a request. real quick. Anyway. Now, this is where. The scam artist got tight. 
And this is what happens when you're messing with scam artists, partic but, 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 uh, particularly uh, female scam artists. Once you call out the scam artists on their scam artistry, or meaning you just say like, look, what are you doing? This, this, this can't be what your life is. Once you call them out on it, they get offended that you observed them. Like I said, you'll observe people doing something and then you'll repeat what you observed them doing and then they'll get mad at you. Right. So she got mad. She got the scam artist got tight. Look at what she replied back. She said, girl, if you don't cut that shit for real, LMAO, I am pregnant. Bish. I just got that picture off there when you said you needed a better picture. That was stupid, but still. <laughs> but <laughs> and the friend caught on to the disrespect she goes bish until i see a baby you just a fat ass bitch <laughs> uh, she said good day ho <laughs> well people don't people don't pick up on the in, um the intric uh the intricacies when women are talking to each other they pick up on that disrespect you know what i mean um now when i was a kid growing up unfortunately because i had a front row seat to older women talking to each other or talking about kids, talking about talking ish, I can pick up on these things. So there was always that conflict between me and female teachers growing up. You know what I mean? Like, I remember like, <laughs> I'll, I'll give you, I'll, I'll, I'll give you an example, right? I was trying to like, there's a lot of teachers I've, I've told my, my mom specifically, I was like, mom, you don't, I don't think you get like, they, th this one specifically, she, she's got it out for me. Now, it wasn't really a big deal in high school that much. You know, I didn't, I was just like, you know what, fuck, I'm gonna stop fighting these motherfuckers, right? But I remember senior year specifically, I'm talking about, I didn't even complain, I didn't complain junior year. Didn't really complain sophomore year, but definitely didn't complain junior year. Senior year, didn't complain about nobody, even though my gym teacher was on some BS. Didn't even really talk about him. But my Spanish teacher, senior year, I was trying to tell, I was trying to tell my counselor, like something off with her. <laughs> something off with this bitch <laughs> this girl on my ass for no reason just because i'm not being od participant i'm showing up to, i'm not skipping their class you know what i mean i'm just showing up but I, look i'm only in this class because i gotta graduate so she was just mad that i wasn't as excited about the class and i'm like well, how can you be even mad about <laughs> i was like i was I literally trying to like something something off with her and she very disrespectful. Now, nobody believed me until my mom ended up having a conference with her uh, the next year because one of my siblings ended up having her as a teacher uh, the next year. And she disrespected me again to my, in my, uh, my mom's face. And my mom wasn't happy about that. And I was, I didn't even tell my mom, oh, I told you so. I was just like, look, <laughs> there, there are certain things that like women will say things. And they, they know what they're doing. That, that's what that's basically my point. They know what they're doing. They'll say certain things to trigger you. Now, what happens with men? Men don't really pick up on it, but it's deaf by a thousand cuts. Now, once they run across a dude that picks up on it, then, oh, you toxic or you insecure or there's something wrong. No, no, no. no. <laughs> We're all human beings. We're all human beings here. At the end of the day, disrespect is disrespect. You really shouldn't even let anybody, you know, cross certain lines with you, no matter really who they are. Now, if it's kids, it's whatever. But what we're talking is like two adults. When we're two adults, we we got we are we got we already got to know what what kind of ground we're standing on. Anyway, enough of story time. Next slide. So a scam artist <laughs> replies back. She goes, "LMAO, okay, girl." She goes, "Wait, why you mean? Why 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 are you talking to me like that? Like you beefing with me?" <laughs> She said, do not piss me off. She said, I'm going to gift you with an ultrasound picture tomorrow with my name and date on it tomorrow. She goes again, LMAO, I'm going to call when I leave out the salon. Girl, ain't nobody faking no pregnancy. LMAO, what the F? I'm having a whole gender reveal and only one person know the gender from the doctor. I said what the reason was, but you're right, girl. You'll just see when my baby get here. I'm dead. Like, I'll, I'll say this too. There's always like, we got like, you know, when we, when we talk about the point of no return. Now, usually when you catch men at the point of no return, when it comes to lying or capping about a situation, for the most part, and I'll damn near say 90 plus percent of the time, once that man gets caught, it's, I don't even think they even allow men to even get past the point of no return. He Most of the time he has to confess or basically not just not say anything and just let them tell, tell the man the punishment. 
but women will take that lie over the abyss, meaning way past the point of no return. And it's like, you know, she's lying. You know, she's capping. We've seen it with the false accus uh, false a accusers, right? When they accuse these celebrities or they accuse men of means, when they accuse uh, 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 um, these athletes of doing some something wrong and they will be literally proven wrong. Like the, the accusers will be literally proven wrong. It, it'll be so clear as day that they were lying and they will still to this day will stick to that lie and be like, no, he did something to me. <laughs> and it's like, I'm like, you're still going to carry on with that lie, even though you've been exposed as an extreme liar. They don't care. When we talk about the, <clears throat> excuse me, guys, when we talk about the point of no return, women will take that go all the way, will go across that line and just smear over it, sprint past it, the point of no return. So this is why I like things like, you know, I'm talking about, there, there's literally, there, I remember there was a video on Facebook where Steve Wilkos, I think, I think it was either Steve Wilkos or somebody. And they were literally telling the woman, like, that guy's not the father of your kid. We, we got the paternity test results right here. And she's like, no, I don't accept it. I don't accept it. Nope. That, it's, it's wrong. You saw it with Kirk Franklin's uh, bi uh, biological mother, where they're, they're literally like, yo, the, the, the paternity tests are <laughs> here. You, you can stop lying now. Even her friend was like, okay, like, she's like, he deserves the truth. Even though the loud ass auntie was literally like, look, Kirk deserves the truth. And she still was just like, she, she didn't even, she didn't apologize. She didn't admit it. All she did was this, is this going to affect our relationship moving forward? Which basically meaning, am I going to get caught off, cut off financially from you? And I was like, wow, <laughs> it's like the, the results are right. It's like, <laughs> that's why I love paternity tests because you can't beat science. This is why paternity tests are, it's, it's the, people want to talk about, oh, how bad modern times are. But I say, look, bro, back in the day, people act like, Women weren't being 304s back in the day, too. It's just that they kept it under wraps. But now with paternity tests, like I said, was it modern problems require modern solutions? This is why I'm glad to be living at a time like this. I wish I was born, though. Like, I, I wish I wasn't born in the 90s. Though. I wish I was born, like, like late 2000s, early 2000s. I would have been, man, I would have been thriving. I, felt like, I feel like if I was born late 2000s, but, like, in a different country, right? Like, I, like, I believe if I was born in a different country, like, in somewhere in Europe, uh, late 2000s, something like that. I would be like, or sorry, mid 2000s. I'd be straight. <laughs> my life would be, my life would be uh, uh, cruising. Anyway, that's just <laughs> a little bit of a tangent. But the that we talk about the past, the point of no, like sh her friend is, sh she knows her, and, and and she's like, she's lying again, and I'm getting tired of it. And look how far she's willing to carry on with that lie. So here, the girl was sense replies back to her still lying she goes girl it ain't nothing to throw together a little gender reveal especially when it's at a restaurant <laughs> she said but it's okay yeah girl you have nothing to prove to nobody especially not me i was just sharing with you my feelings based on what i discovered on pin interest if you choose to live in delusional <laughs> i'm more than happy to leave you there boo <laughs> because at, even at one point there's gonna be one friend that's like okay this is too much this is too much you're 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 dragging everybody in delusional uh, cuckoo land and if somebody call you out for it then we the bad guy so here she goes but i'm weird and now we need to talk as real friends you see this this is how you know she knew she was on the right path so now she's telling her us now that she got that she got another text talking about yo we need to talk as real friends once you get that text i'll say yeah yeah that's that's the one thing i know about girls too if, <laughs> you'll call like say if if any if there's any woman listening to me you can call you'll call out your female bestie on her doing dirt and she i'm talking about will drag you for discovering it and act like you lying but she's telling the truth right and then you'll get another text later yo we need to talk as a real friend <laughs> <laughs> oh man she okay so i'm gonna read from her tweet again she goes i gave her a bunch bunch of chances to tell me the truth she dragged it now i got a beat on her after she had na nanny baby she texted me off a text now number a uh, text now number she's talking about the 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 so text now what, what text now number is just to anybody that doesn't know what, what that is that is a free texting app that a lot of scammers be using <laughs> it's a free texting app that you don't gotta um pay for the uh uh te for texting so especially if you're you're using it off of wi-fi a lot of scammers like to use free uh text now number for uh, one of the more popular free texting uh uh apps <laughs> 
<laughs> he said she texted me off a text now number saying it's her sister. Bruh. Do you know how many times I've seen this situation like this before? They fake the pregnancy, get everybody riled up, but it's really it was somebody else. It was her friend. It was her sister. Bruh. He said, girl, ain't got nothing better to do. So she finally, she, she didn't confess. She just basically said, well, it was my sister. <laughs> oh, man. Here we go. So I guess her text, I guess the friend texted back because she posted the situation on social media that her friend is a scam artist. She didn't mention any names, but I'm pretty sure people use their deduction skills. He was like, oh, it was her. And then she probably replied back, I ain't saying no names. <laughs> oh, man. She goes, I know friends disagree and don't see eye to eye, but y'all should never get on social media and bash each other. I got on Jayla's. Wait. This is her friend. Oh, so this is her friend coming to her defense. So the scam artist got her friend, her other friend to talk to the level-headed lady that, uh, what, what's her name? What's her Twitter? Uh, Journey Keon. Jern. So we're just going to call her Jern or we're going to call her Jay. We're just going to call her Jay. No, no, we got to. Uh, we got to get the journey. Let's just call her journey. Let's just call her journey. So journey's the level head, the one with the with some kind of sense. Right. So the scam artist got her friend to text her. <laughs> oh, man. So here she says, I know friends disagree and don't see eye to eye, but y'all should never get on social media and bash each other. I got on Jayla as well because she shouldn't have reacted. She knows that she's pregnant. Hell, we all know, but y'all getting into it should have never reached social media. She and her feelings about it because she actually thought you was a friend. So her feelings and her emotions are definitely all over. I told her to text you because y'all need to talk. Take that damn post down and y'all be friends to each other. That's not the way to do it. Both of y'all owe each other an apology because it has honestly gotten extremely too far. Y'all are friends. She goes, so Journey replied back, and yeah, you're right. The, situ the situation literally spiraled, and that wasn't my intentions at all. I was just saying how I felt on my page, and I don't see anything wrong with that. So the uh, Switzerland friend replies back, I understand that as well, but when you seen it started to get out of hand and people were on there bashing her, <laughs> it should have been ended. I don't play about my friends at all. Hell, I get on the ass, and we go on about our day, but it'll never hit social media. You look like a sweet girl. And if you know Jayla, then you know that little girl is nothing but pure hearted. I hate seeing this type of stuff happen between two girls. They put the outside world in the business. That's not going to do ish, but talk about the both of y'all. They going to talk about Jayla because they think she lying and they going to talk about you for exposing it. Neither is a win-win situation for either. Uh, oh. Uh, for either of y'all, y'all need to talk. I'm making her delete every post she posted on that messy ass Twitter with them messy as little girls that don't know shit from anything. And I ask that you do the same. Y'all better than that. My mama don't play that ish with Jayla. So we was definitely on her ish about it. Talk to her. Why do I have a feeling those those la these are these ladies are like over 30 <laughs> or close to 30 and they on that beat. <laughs> faking pregnancies and all that stuff that's the stuff they'd be doing it never mind anyways um that damn post that went viral of people being messy about two friends getting into it and that goes to show nobody is for y'all everybody against y'all i hate that delete them posts and talk is real friends should okay so journey replies back i don't know who you are or why you're texting me jayla called me out she went under the post and started talking sideways saying she was gonna whoop me <laughs> I don't know why she's steady giving my number out to all kind of people. I told her we can run it and we can. <laughs> she needs to leave me alone now. If she's still feeling some kind of way, she can go cry about it. They're bashing me too. I do not care. I posted my opinion on my page. Girl, I don't give a fuck how nobody feel. Nope, I'm not deleted ish. Tell that one to stop lying. <laughs> hey, yo, man. But like I said, even if say she was somehow telling the truth for her to even say, because she said that she had a fake pregnancy before this. So for her to lie about something like that, people will have the right to call in uh, and question her integrity. I don't know why it's a crime to call into question someone's integrity if they had lied before. They do it with men all the time. But for some reason, it'll be a woman no matter what age, whether she be a middle schooler, high schooler, uh, under age 21 year old, <laughs> you know, under age 27 year old now. Right. 
they'll never be like, look, since she lied before, a.k.a. Meg Thee Stallion, that's another story, she probably could be lying again. But for some reason, nobody would want to put two to two together. But let's look at some of these comments. Okay, so at least I see some comments defending the girl for calling her out for faking a pregnancy. <laughs> <laughs> she said cut her off i can't stand liars and women who fake pregnancies need mental help facts but most of these comments if you look at this post people mad at journey this girl for snitching on her that's what they say oh why would you snitch on her <laughs> but like i said the people that be lying about the pregnancies and stuff these be the same people i swear i swear these be the same people talking about i'm happily single but then we're it's always they, they, they always say that and i'm not saying there's anything wrong with that but they will say that but then in the same breath, in the, in the same breath, they'll be like, they're, they're, it's always dudes with relationship that are getting extorted by their side chicks, right? Because side chicks are, most of them are single, right? Or the side chick is trying to get, get, get knocked up by an NBA player. And I'm like, I thought you love being, and you're just like, this, this makes no sense. Some, something's not adding up. <laughs> Something, these things are not adding up. I'm not even going to bring up the whole mental health issue, the, the amount of uh, uh, mental health drugs that single women are taking nowadays. It just it doesn't it doesn't coincide with each other. But I think what it is, unfortunately, you know. A lot of women hate that they need men. They hate it because what a lot of men don't understand, there are a lot of things that women cannot do without assistance that even the most miserable single man, he can accomplish most things in a day that the average woman she's going to have to call a man for help and they hate that a lot of them just cannot stand that they're they are in that position if they could be single and be straight trust me they would a lot of women don't like men like that you know what i mean they don't really they just tolerate men you know so they'll pull they pull stunts like this really because they can't admit that <laughs> they can't they can't they, they just refuse to humble themselves you know what i mean so that's really what it is you know when people are like, man why like you'll 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 talk to some woman and be like, why is she so pissed off at me? I didn't do anything. But it's because as a man, you can do things. Like I always say, like being a man is the cheat code. That's what I always say. Say 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 to uh to dudes and younger dudes. This is why. Even like your most your your fitness girls. That's why they be all up. They got their 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 bathing in HGH and they try to get as much uh, they try to get as much testosterone as possible. You already naturally have as men. That's why they try to lower it for you, but they try to uptake it in when, when women are using it. That when, when women are in that position, they're trying to get a dose of that t testosterone. You know what I mean? So it's like I said, being a man is a cheat code. This is why a lot of women will just be mad at men, just in just in general. Just just be just mad in general because you're a man. You know, that's how it, you know, unfortunately, that's how it works. <laughs>